guesses the talk of the Castro house hold. Mm -hmm. She's an actor, producer, a New Yorker who's having an action-packed summer. Yeah, Luna Lauren Velez plays Brianna Diaz in Transformers Rise of the Beasts, which hits theaters on Friday, mm -hmm. but she also voices the role of Rio Morales, aka Spider-Man's mom, in Across the Spider-Verse. Okay. Miles' grades are pretty good. A in AP Physics. That's my little man. And AP Studio Art. <laughs> he takes after his uncle. A minus in English. She's a tough grader. And a B in Spanish. What? Ooh, okay. Miles. Are you trying to kill your mother? Okay. Calmate, mommy. Eso no es my fault. ¿Qué, qué es eso que esto no es mi fault? ¿Tú estás tomando una clase en Spanish? Mom, I just missed a few classes. Oh, just a few classes. Well, what's a few? I mean, you know, like... Five? Five? five. Actually, six. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> I understand, Mira. Yeah. I know that's serious when someone goes, Mira. When they say Mira, you are in for it. Also, yeah. that could also be the Castro Parent Teacher Conference uh -oh. in our household. Luna Lord Velez joins us live this morning. Hello and welcome to New York Living. <laughs> Hi, so glad to be here. It's so, it's Happy so, to have you. so great to talk to you. I told her that I got so much street cred with my kids knowing that I was sitting across That's from you today. That's big for teenage boys. So I'm gonna run with this. Then go with it. I'm gonna use it as a threat. Do it. I'm gonna say, don't make me call Laura Luna. <laughs> um, talk to us about the Spider-Verse, critically acclaimed. What was that experience like for you? Uh, uh, pretty amazing. I mean, all of it's amazing. It, yeah. You never know how this is all gonna come out, especially yeah. when you're doing this kind of thing, like voice acting. Right. It took us a while to do it, yeah. a couple of years, you know, going into the mm. studio mm -hmm. and doing your voice acting and stuff right. like that, and we don't have the whole script. So for me to see it, I'm, I'm still like, wow. <laughs> the, the movie's amazing, I love it. I mean, it really stands as a film. Yeah. And it was such a great experience yeah. working with all these, with this wonderful cast mm -hmm. and the directors. It's getting. It's I mean, getting people so are going acclaimed. nuts. Mm -hmm. People are going nuts for it. In fact, we had Jack Rico on. That's right. Last week was that last week? Yes, a week or two ago. And this was one of the movies that he picked as a one must see movies. this summer. Yeah. And he knows everything about everything. That's yeah. really he knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to film. I I I mean, oh, who knew? Right. I was excited the last time. You know, the, the first one won the Oscar, and I thought there's no way that yeah. you could top this. Right. But they did, mm -hmm. which is incredible. They right. really did. It's incredible because I think so many of us are just longing to lose ourselves yeah. in something that we see yes. in film. And I think this is one of those, especially this fran franchise, and especially the role that you play. Talk to us a little about a representation um, and sort of the significance of having this Afro-Latino character mm -hmm. take center stage. Um, what does it mean to you? It means that my nieces and nephews are actually growing up in something that is very normal to them, which is very different than when I was growing up. I had nobody, you know, that very few, few um, people that look like me. It wasn't really until Rosie Perez sort of popped up on the scene that I was like, finalmente, finalmente, finalmente. finalmente. Right. Like mm -hmm. So for them, this is like a normal, part of their lives, right. that makes, I'm thrilled about that. I'm so happy about it. And playing this woman who I, based on my mom, who is of course incredibly strong, loving, compassionate, and will not hesitate to take out the chancleta no. when she needs <laughs> Not the it. chancleta. The chancleta. <laughs> I've heard about those. I've heard about the chancleta, that's right. So I, I love that this is this family also. You know, this isn't a family that's struggling. Right. They're two professionals raising their son who has his pick of what school he wants to go right. to, essentially. And this is all really wonderful messaging, I think, for everyone, yeah. uh, but particularly for, for Latinos, yeah. you know? it's It makes me very proud to be part of it. It makes me very proud to watch you yeah. up on screen. <laughs> it really does. Uh, switching gears, not totally, but just a little mm. bit, because you're also in another movie that's coming out. A little, a little. <laughs> what a franchise, Transformers. <laughs> Talk to us about being part of this cast and this franchise. You guys, I, I can't even tell you how shocking and surprising <laughs> all of this is. I've never she's seen like, a Transformer movie. Like, what? <laughs> oh, I love it. And she's, again, she's the mother of 
what is, you know, the hero of the film. And that's really incredible. Yeah. This Transformers <clears throat> from, is different than the other ones. I guess it's the first time that the humans and the machines join forces and, or humans and aliens mm. join forces. Oh. And I get to play, you know, the mom again, who is loving, strong. Mm -hmm. She's working, she's going to school at night and, uh, you know, working with Anthony. Anthony Ramos oh was amazing, you know? And it was just a great experience. Yeah. So that the, these two coming out at the same time, it's like, when does that happen? How? Now, mm. for you? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And you made it happen. Did you watch Transformers? Yeah. The cartoon growing up? The cartoon, no. Megan I Fox had, and what's his name? LaBeouf? No, the cartoon. The cart I had the gloves. Oh, they were stop. Transformer what? gloves. I was a tomboy. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't know a lot about the... If only we had the photo. I didn't know a lot about Transformers. I didn't even... Spider-Man? You know what Spider-Man I remember? The Upside Down Kiss with Tony That's Boy right! Kiss That's Kiss. always so what I think of it. too with that, that um, uh, what, Kirsten Dunst. Thank yeah. you, Dave. Oh my gosh, yeah. that, that was kiss. my experience. So when they... Miles Morales came along, yeah, I was like, like, Miles Morales? But he's Latino. Right. So does, that give, <laughs> does that give you some freedom, though, as an actor to sort of interpret it the way that you want or the way that you think that that character is going to be? I'll since you, since you don't know a lot about, you, or since you didn't know a lot about the franchise? The writers and d the director, Phil Lord, mm. in particular, was wanted to make sure that this was so authentic, yeah. accurate. He was like, w does this feel good? Oh. Do you, does that feel Gosh. good to you? Does that feel right? Does it? I mean, it was incredible yeah. just how hands-on he was about making sure that it felt really culturally specific and resonated with everyone. He was like, Who if it's one to word, him for being an ally. Yeah, yeah he Love really to hear was. That. Yeah. Is. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah.